What's up guys, Noel here, and today we got what looks to be a very good technical patch for Escape from Tarkov, which includes the essential removal of fog indoors for interchange and reserve. To me, it looks like a night and day difference, significantly better, especially on interchange, but it seems to be a coin toss for some people out there. Don't know if they're just being negative, but it, you guys will be able to see this for yourself. It looks significantly better. I'll have that footage playing in the background, and I also have an uninterrupted version uploaded earlier today as well, if you want to check that out. That is the most recent video after this one. In this patch, we also got a report system where now if someone that you reported gets banned, you'll be notified that they were banned if they get banned. As I was recording this, BSG just announced there will also be a Tarkov TV this Friday. For those that don't know, this is the very important dev update podcast that they do showing off a lot about the future of the game and they will specifically be talking about the future of the game. Expect a lot of juicy info to come out of this. I will of course be covering everything that they talk about and expect some catch up videos before then to, you know, catch you up. Now we'll get into the patch notes and a couple of the extras for today's patch. But as always, guys, if you like this video, hit the button, subscribe for more. I'd really appreciate it. Now, there were also some hidden changes that include a nerf to looting XP. So now when you loot items, you will get less XP for doing so. Sometimes that does add up and it just won't be adding up to as much anymore. Going down the patch notes, the biggest takeaways I've noticed are the expanded area for assessment part one. According to Hayes on Twitter, BSG confirmed with him that the area for that quest is now the entire southern part of the map. As long as you get PMC kills in this general area, you're good. So shout out to Hayes for that. There's new sound positioning for reserve and shoreline. So the sounds around you should at least be a bit more accurate in the hot spots like buildings and points of interest. Since they're saying configured here, I'd like to assume it means they updated it significantly. So the change should be significant, but I haven't tested it out myself yet. Now on streets, they adjusted the sound positioning. So I guess just hope it's better, but not much to gleam off of that. Again, haven't tested that myself yet. Smoke grenades now plume much bigger and spread faster, so try those out. Any of you guys that have played Arma before know how useful those can be. They kind of sucked in Tarkov, and sometimes if you used a lot, they would be useful, and now they might be more useful, so check them out. DLSS and FSR were updated. Loads of fixes to annoying bugs and just general improvements. You know how BSG usually words this stuff, which includes scopes when using DLSS and FSR. Scopes used to be crap with those, and depending on your settings, I'm sure it's still not perfect because of how DLSS and FSR work, but there should be improvements now. This is going to be one of those toss-ups. It looks good on my rig, even without DLSS and FSR, but if you're somebody that has been using DLSS or FSR, and then if you wanted to go to woods or shoreline, and then you turn it off so that you could use scopes better, test it out and let me know what you think now. Now, they also added their, quote, various optimizations in lighting system components, where if interchange is anything to go off of, I'm definitely digging it. Again, just lots of fixes for stuff here and there, but generally speaking, this was very much much what the title says, a technical update, no new content, but for sure a good and required update nonetheless. Let's see what pops up with that Tarkov TV later this week. On top of the Tarkov TV, there's talks going on behind the scenes, which might turn into something that I can talk about soon, I hope. So stay tuned for some cool stuff. For sure, follow me on Twitter and join the Discord for the latest news, but that's going to do it for today, guys. If you like this video, hit the button, subscribe for more, like it, comment what you think or ask questions. Check out my other channels for other games right here. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a nice day. See you guys.